15,221. Clear cut. I would bet you that has a lot to do with it. And I said, that's not Upper Deck's fault. If a company does something that obviously, you know, controls it. So we've got for the Dallas Stars, Della Andrea. Rookie Auto. Ty Delandrea. Stickers are nothing because obviously they had stickers in house, and I'm guessing the other option was that he can't be in the product. We've got for the San Jose Sharks, Latinov. San Jose Sharks, Latinov. The people at the door, they don't understand that we are closed. That I am breaking live and I have no options. For the Blues, Perico. Autograph. Colton Pareko for the Blues. I always love that when people like knock on the door and then they like stare at you and it's like there's not much I can do when I'm breaking. Champs a rookie auto bellows for the Islanders. Bellows for the Islanders. Um, to some people it might devalue. To some. Like, again, I know obviously in the hobby we love to nitpick on a lot of things. I personally don't really care that much, but again, I'm just one collector. Pareko, I swear we just got this card. Colton Pareko. Did we not just get this card? That's hilarious. Always choose C. Yeah. We've got a rookie auto. Cal Foot for Tampa. Foot Tampa Bay. That is not yeah. I feel a one star review coming our way soon, uh, Golden. I saw the guy in the store and he wasn't getting the door. We've got a uh, Karashev. Chicago Memoirs Auto. It, it, it still blows my mind the amount of times it happens for me in Smash that somebody will literally stare at the wall, like in the window. They'll see us breaking. I'll try to somehow signal that I am breaking. And they kind of like throw up the arms like, why can't you open the door? Well, I don't know. Bear uh, Bana for the Maple Leafs. This product is, uh, yeah, it would be hand packed. Yeah, I would think so. You might leave it for them, yeah. Yeah, I always, I've always said, guys, like, I feel bad for Upper Deck because they can't really go out there and say the reasons, I'm sure, because they don't want to make anyone look bad or, you know, whatever. Number to 25, Champs Auto, John Van Beesbrook. That's a good one for the Rangers. But I, I, I definitely think there's got to be some sort of correlation between Kaprizov signing an exclusive deal and then Upper Deck basically saying it's like you take it or leave it type of thing for this for the stickers. 
So my guess is we will not see any hard sign going forward of Caprizo. Probably an upper deck product. Martin Fairberry. Washington Capitals. Like, here's the honest thing. Obviously, preference is always hard sign, but do I honestly think it makes that big of a difference? Not really. I really don't. Another Champs Auto, number to 25, Brad Marchand. And if any of you guys realistically want to see, look up David Pasternak Cup rookies and tell me if you think those are uh, low or fair value because I believe he was a sticker. Out of 25, Brad Marchand. I don't think we've got a case it yet. Marshawn and the Van Bees book is very, very nice, but I don't think we've got a case it. Champs Rookie Auto, Ty Smith. That is also a thing, Andy, and I agree with you on that. I think a lot of people should consider that. It's actually probably going to be a lot better for uh, product quality. Standing out. Love that guy. Good member of ours. That is very nice. Number 20 of 25. Canvas Auto for Buffalo. Jack Eichel. The funny thing is, Jeff, there's many products that people think they consider it hard sign, but it's not really hard sign, but they view it better than a sticker. And that is funny to me. And I'll explain in depth a bit more shortly. Buffalo Sabres, Eichel Canvas, that's a beautiful card. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying though, Jeff? Or do you want, did I, uh, did I say that and it confused everyone? Explain. I will give you an explanation very shortly. We got two more packs. Black Amber, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Black Amber, is this last year's? Yeah, that's an update last year. You need to learn, perfect. Just tossing the card, yep. And the problem is you can't yell at the players, right? If you yell at the players, you're losing your uh, revenue stream, essentially. And for the Blues, Ryan O'Reilly. 